Hello everybody, this is Patrick Butler. Now as so you know, this is the first What I Got video for 2011. But you're asking, what is it? Well, first off, back in 2007, I talked about a couple of accessories for this particular system and also a game as well. You can check my archives of that since I do have a playlist of all my 2007 videos. So check them out if you haven't. Well, what am I going to talk about? Well, I should say, since I got a couple of friends that have this particular system, I'm going to talk about my Nintendo Wii games collection. That's what we're going to talk about today on another episode of What I Got. Now back in April of 2007, I got my Nintendo Wii, and I've had it for almost four years now, and uh, at times I enjoy it, sometimes I don't even play it, but when I do enjoy it, I really enjoy it. Why? Because I got lots and lots of games. Yep, my Nintendo Wii games collection has since grown to infinite proportions! Well, not quite. But I do got a lot of games, so uh, we are, we're going to talk about every single individual game. But unfortunately, I can't talk about every single game. But most of the games, I will talk about. So, what do you think I have for uh, 10 away games? Well, you're going to find out. So, enjoy everybody. Now, this of course is Wii Sports. And what's good about this one is that it has the original warning screen on it. It has the original warning screen from 2006, not the updated one from 2007. Now this is a good game. This is a good game. I know that Martin and a couple other people have this. And by the way, I scanned the fronts and backs here, so it, it's from the uh, thing I got it in. But unfortunately, I didn't like it, so I just put it in a regular case. This, of course, is the back. And uh, I scanned these. I scanned them. I also put the booklet in here. We're going to open this up. Shoot. We're going to open this up. There's the booklet. That, of course, is the disc. Now, this is a good game. This is a good game. You may want to check this out. So, that was Wii Sports. Now this is Wii Play, and so far, this is my least favorite Wii game, unfortunately. It gets a little boring. Now I got a free Wii remote with this. Now this is the case that was inside this. And of course, I'm going to show you the back here of this case. That's how you open it from there. It's like a huge box. As you can see, that's where the uh, game goes. Now this, of course, is the case. And uh, front cover right here. Here is the back cover. As you can see, open this up. That's the Wii Play disc and, of course, your instructions. That, of course, was Wii Play. Now, on the left, it's Bigfoot Collision Course, and the right is Ultimate Ice Pie. I have not played this yet, so I can't give a review on that. So far, I've only played this a little for a little bit, and I thought it was good, but I have to play it a little more to find out if it's really good or not, or if it's bad. This, of course, is the back. And of course, here's the front cover of Ultimate Ice Spy. That of course is the back cover. Open this up. That's what the Bigfoot Collision Course disc look like. And that of course is your instructions. And finally, we got Ultimate Ice Spy disc. And we got the booklet right there. 
So that of course was Ultimate Eye Spy and Bigfoot Collision Course. Now on the left is Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam and this of course is Sonic and the Secret Rings. I thought this was good even though the controls can be a little clunky. Now this isn't bad. This game isn't bad. I haven't played it much so I can't tell you if it's really good or not. That of course is the fronts of both Sonic and Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. We're going to show you the back here of Tony Hawk and the back of Sonic and the Secret Rings. Sadly that's the only Sonic game, well regular Sonic game that I have for the Wii. This of course is the disc of Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. There of course is instructions. And we're going to open this up. Nice looking disc for Sonic and the Secret Rings. I'm impressed. I like it. And there of course is the instructions with secret tips inside. Wow. I'll have to cheat on that. <laughs> I hope to cheat. That of course was Sonic and the Secret Rings. By the way, I'm not going to really cheat. That Those ain't really cheat codes anyway. That of course was uh, Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam and Sonic and the Secret Rings. Now of course on the left is Madden 2007 and on the right is Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tekaichi 2. Now, this was a good game. I'm surprised. I haven't played in a long time, so maybe I'll play it again someday. And this is also a good game as well. So, here are the fronts, and we're going to show you the backs here. And that's the back of Matten. And that, of course, is the back of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tekaichi 2. Now, we're going to open these up if we can. That's the disc for Dragon Ball Z and that's the booklet. Now open this up. That's the disc. It's bland but oh well. And that's the booklet. So that was Madden 2007 and Dragon Ball Z. Now on the left is Zack and Wiki, Quest for Barbados Treasure. And of course we got Super Paper Mario on the right. Now this is very cheap now. You can find this at your store for probably 20 bucks. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I originally got this around 40 I think. And of course it's Super Paper Mario and of course here's the fronts of both games. By the way, good game, good game. Now I'm going to show you the backs as well. That of course is the back of Zack and Wiki. That of course is the back of Super Paper Mario. Now we're going to open these. That's the disc for Zack and Wiki. And that of course is the booklet. Open this up. That's the disc for Super Paper Mario. And that, of course, is the booklet for Super Paper Mario. That, of course, was Back in Wiki and Super Paper Mario. Now, this, of course, is Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. That's the third of a set of Metroid Prime games. This, of course, is Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. By the way, great game, great game. That's all I want to say. Check them both out. There's the front. Of Metroid Prime 3. This, of course, is the front of Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. Here's the backs of both games. That's the back of Metroid Prime 3. This, of course, is the back of Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. Now we're going to open these up. Crap. That's the disc from Metroid Prime 3. And that, of course, is the booklet. Open this up. And that, of course, is the disc for Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. That, of course, is the booklet for Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. That, of course, was Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition and Metroid Prime 3. Now, the one on the left is Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The one on the right is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. 
Now, I recommend both games. I really enjoyed both games, so you may want to check them both out. Here's the front of Super Smash Brothers Brawl. This, of course, is the front of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, we're going to show you the backs here. That, of course, is the back for Super Smash Brothers Brawl. This, of course, is the back of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, we're going to open these up. That, of course, is the disc. And that, of course, is the booklet for Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Now, Twilight Princess. Here is the disc for Twilight Princess. This is also available for the GameCube, but I haven't gotten the GameCube version yet. They're both different. Now, this, of course, is the booklet for The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. So, that was The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Now, this, of course, is Mario Kart Wii. This is what I actually got when I first got this game. Now, the game was actually inside this box, but I took it out. It's right here now. Well, this also has the uh, Wii wheel as well. So, here's the front. And that, of course, is the back of this box. Now, this is where the game was actually housed. By the way, I recommend this game. This, of course, is the front of the DVD case. Of course, they're housed in DVD cases anyway. This, of course, is the back. As you can see, now I'm going to open this up. That, of course, is the disc. And there is your instructions. Now, that, of course, was Mario Kart Wii. Now, this, of course, is Super Mario Galaxy. I talked about it before. I did a sale demand and a couple other stuff. Now, I enjoyed this game so much that I had to get the second one as well. So I got both of them. That of course is the front cover of Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. And by the way, great game as well. There's the disc and uh, there's your instructions for Super Mario Galaxy. And finally we got the back of Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're going to show you the back here. And it's really nice as well, really detailed. Now we're going to open this up. A very nice looking disc of Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'm impressed. Really enjoyed it. And there, of course, is the booklet. That, of course, is the booklet, everybody. That, of course, was Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. Now finally I'm going to show you this limited edition game because uh, this went out of print last year and unfortunately you can't get it for the price that it used to go to anymore. Now I'm not going to show you really much I'm just going to show you the front and back of this because I want to do a special what I got for this particular one but I will show you the back anyway. By the way, this is in a plastic slip cover, and uh, the case is actually a steel book. So, that's all I really wanted to show you. That, of course, was Metroid Prime Trilogy. Now, the last thing I want to show you, it, this is not really a game I just wanted to show you. Just in case you have problems with any game like Super Smash Bros. Brawl, you may need this. I'm not going to show you much since it's really not a game. Here is the back. You may want to get this just in case, alright? I'll do a review on it in the near future. That, of course, was Wii Lens Cleaning Kit. So that's it, everybody. I got a total of 18 Wii games. Hopefully, I'll be getting more soon. Now, that doesn't count the WiiWare games. The WiiWare games that I got are... Mega Man 9 and 10, World of Goo, and Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Episode 1. Now, I'm thinking about getting that 
limited edition Super Mario All-Stars game. I know that Martin S5 1989 has it, but I don't, unfortunately. But eventually I'll get it soon, since uh, it is pretty cheap. I've heard it's 30 bucks, And I want to get a couple more Wii games as well. So, that's all I really got to show you. If I get more, I will show you them. Alright, so for now, that's my Wii games collection so far. Peace out everybody. Blog you later.